What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of State of Decay 2. We are just established this outpost. We're now going to help these people. And is this a food place? Establish that outpost. We need 300. Actually, hold on. We need 300 happiness, and we don't have that. So, clear that, please. Oh, we also need to call in food. If we don't shut up, we're gonna have every deadhead in the area up our ass. Can y'all get on the radio and see if anyone has a good lead on a scavenging place? <laughs> we're not using the car this time because we can't afford to. Oh, that's awesome. Real close. So let's actually do that first. If anyone's gonna pull us all through this nightmare, it's the network. That looks like I need a new weapon too. I didn't really gear up beforehand, I just kinda took my stuff and left. Um I don't know, I could do that, I might not, I don't care. We're just gonna kinda loot these areas as we go across, though. Do we have an old lady in our group? I don't know, I don't think so, but I really don't know. Let's go, buddy. Uh, graphics. I mean, they're a little cartoony for me. I like them. They're like, they're realistic, but there's also like that shred of cartoon. Um, I don't know. I think it's alright though. The rendering is not great. I'll take what I can get though. I mean, it's more, to me, graphics are not extremely important to me. They help, but they're just kind of an extra. Because I mean, might okay. Look out with this place. An example would be, I like. I've played a lot of like, okay. Before I got this game, I was grinding Shadow of Mordor, and the Xbox 360. If you know what Shadow of Mordor looks like on the Xbox 360, yeah, you know it looks. Absolute, it's like probably the worst looking game in history. Maybe not that, but it, it's honestly one of the worst looking games. The cutscenes are amazing because they're from the Xbox One, but the, the gameplay, the graphics are literally potato. But like in, in saying that, the potato setting looks better fun. if there's a potato setting it looks better than the graphics do um but i still like that game i mean i almost beat it in like a week as long as we keep making smart decisions i see a lot of success coming our way so i didn't even find the actual food thing i just found extra food which is amazing no didn't mean for you to do that Hmm. 
Nothing here. Like, at all. Uh, the place has been bled dry. Time to move on. Okay. No room. There's a lot of stuff, so I gotta go get the car, basically. This might be a longer episode, um, because of this. Well, maybe not. Actually, it might be Water one of the shorter ahead. ones, because if we're doing quick. one run per um, episode, which I think kind of makes sense, then we're basically going to walk back, get in the car, fill it up, Come, come walk back here, so, yeah. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. We're gonna look up here. Maybe we can find something else. I don't think we can, though. I surveyed. I'm gonna take the shortcut. Just learn about these actually, the shortcuts up to the base. We also probably should establish... Wait, actually, wait a minute. I want to see what that place offers as an outpost. Because it said that you, that you could find ammo there, food there, and I think building materials there. And it's like... If you could get all those from the outpost, that would be insane. Come on, people, let's fight! Because if we have a choice... Anyone going on a fuel run soon? We're a bit low. Halo delivered. Shigami. Please tell me you haven't forgotten what we talked about. I didn't. The deadhead siege is underway here at base! I didn't live this long just to lay down and die here. Keep fighting. There's bad guys outside. There's uh, zombies and stuff. Pro tip. Pro freaking tip right here. If you guys uh, have access of gas, you have, I have too much gas. Uh, like you have a lot of fuel and for your, for your people and so you think hey maybe I should just break open a few of these uh, rucksacks don't do it it's like the stupidest decision ever what you should do is deliver it to your base it's going to tell you you're out of storage that you're going to start losing it and then what you do is you remove uh, as much fuel as you need like to turn it back to normal to have regular storage, and you remove a bunch to Guess we get to see tomorrow. keep. I don't even know. I I don't know the words to describe it. Where's the? Where do you refuel it, bro? There we go. Okay, if you have too much fuel, 
extract fuel cans from it because for each bag you can get you know three or four fuel if you extract it but if you just bust it open you only get one I mean like like gas cans so definitely extract it even if you're overloaded so yeah that's what I was trying to say I did a very terrible job first time and I understand that so you don't have to bully me about it me in the comment section Miss me yet? I'm heading back. Yeah. All right, lead the way. Is that a bloater? Just food collection. Um, we should try and spread the outposts out. Because like you you go there to like regear basically, um, that's the point of an outpost is to go there to regear. So I'm debating if I should put the outpost there, or what I should do with it. No! Okay, good. I was like, oh, you just got stuck. I'd be very upset because I just put a bunch of gas in it. And I like this car, so. I guess it's something. Yes. Got more gas, that's good. Maybe we can uh, fill up the house. We need more food though. We still need more food. Okay, by the time we're done looting these locations, I think we'll be able to call in more food. And then we'll just go get it. It'll be all one big food episode, basically. Nothing in here? Some ammo. Looks like it. Okay, I'm moving over to this house 
too. Oh, I thought we looted this place already. No more this is where the plague cart was a few episodes ago. this give us see stupid permanent safer who cares we also need more um oh i would just almost call it inspiration but it's um what is uh, uh, come on dude currency Influence, that's it. I knew so with the eye. I was like, what is that word? You're supposed to be good at this game. Uh nope, too many zombies here. I'm just gonna head back up and that's gonna be the end of the episode. Actually no, we're gonna call in food. Food. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll split it up. We'll do two food episodes. That's fine. Yeah, so if you don't, I mean, you don't, so I guess you don't need to watch next episode either. If you watch this episode, it might be the same, but if it's not, it's not right. There's going to be some awesome stuff going on. Who knows? What's going on? Um, actually, we need meds more than we need food. I also call for food, though. We could do both. Technically. Can y'all get on the radio and see if anyone has a good lead on a scavenging place? I'll find someone in the network to handle that. We get medicine too. Time to call our neighbors and see if they know where we should look for goodies. Network here. I'll get someone on that. No problem. Wow, okay, they're all out there. That's a whole trip worth. That is a trip waiting to happen. Okay, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment in the comment section. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Make sure to follow me on all the social medias at TS underscore Ice Crab. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. If anyone's going to pull us all through this nightmare, it's the network. You know, I'm not usually into all that hippie shit, but the network's figured out how to make it work. You're the boss.